Assalamu alaikum. Hey everyone, it is the time of the celebration of Hijr New Year, the first month of the Islamic calendar, Muharram. This year, we are celebrating the year 1445th. The Hijr calendar is considered to be the one of the major calendar currently in use worldwide. Dears, I am going to convey with you a short history of Hijr calendar. Before the Hijr calendar came into use, Muslims used an important events in Muslim history to demarcate time. For example, Amal Fil, the year in which Prophet Muhammad was born. The Hijr calendar is officially created during the reign of Khalifa Umar ibn Khattab. During this age, a complaint was raised by Abu Musa al Ash'ari regarding lack of consisting dates. Abu Musa al Ash'ari sent a letter to Khalifa Umar asking him to create a new way to calculate dates. Khalifa Umar debated this issue with his advisors. Some suggested that the date of the Prophet Muhammad's birth should mark the beginning of the new calendar, while others suggested the date of his death. However, the majority agreed to start the new year with the date of the Prophet Muhammad's migration. Khalifa Umar then consulted the Prophet reward companions Usman ibn Affan and Ali ibn Abi Talib and they agreed. After all the discussions, Khalifa Umar announced that the year which Prophet Muhammad migrated became the first year in the Hijr calendar. The Hijr calendar would begin with the first month of the Muharram and end with the month of Dhul Hijjah. Consequently, 622 AD, the year which Prophet Muhammad migrated would become the first year in the Hijr calendar. Friends, the Hijr year consists of 12 months as Allah says in the Holy Quran in verse 36 of Surah Tawbah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna idhat al-shahur inda Allah inda Allah isna ashra shahr fi kitab Allah. Indeed, the number of months fixed by Allah is twelve in the Holy Quran. My dear friends, the Hijr calendar is a lunar calendar whose months begins and ends depends on the movement of the moon. The disappearance of the moon signals the ends of the ends of the year. The Prophet Muhammad's migration or Hijr in 622 AD marks the beginning of the new year or gives the calendar its name. The Hijr calendar is used to mark a number of significant events, dates like Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, or the beginning and the beginning of the Hajj season. Lastly, the Hijr year consists of 12 months, Muharram, Safar, Rabi al-Awwal, Rabi al-Akhir, Jumad al-Awla, Jumad al-Akhir, Rajab, Sha'aban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul-Qaeda and Dhul-Hijjah. Thank you for hearing me. See you soon.